please say hi in the comments section and let me know um, that you're here. We are almost ready to get started. We're just going to give everybody a few minutes to tune in. If you are getting your supplies together today, you can use watercolors or even acrylics if you want to. I don't have any acrylics with me today, but um, I'm going to teach using watercolors and markers and pencils and crayons. So get whatever you've got. Hello, Asha. How are you? Nirvana from Gun Barrel City. That's cool. Richardson. Where is Gun Barrel? Karina, I see you. Hello. Okay, so it is noon. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, I'm excited to create with y'all too, huh? Um, okay, so I have a few announcements before we get started. Number one, those of you who know me know that um, I adopted some little kittens that my husband found um, in downtown Dallas. Um, they were inside of a cactus. And so that was like right at the beginning of the epidemic. And they were teeny tiny and small. Um, they are not teeny tiny and small right now. They are now small yet destructive size. <laughs> so I have put them in another room. And I am hoping that they will not be uh, super loud and destructive, but no promises. So if you hear crashing in the background, most likely that is my, um, my very hyper kittens. Um, so, so I apologize if that happens. It's not a big deal. If you hear giant crashing noises, it sounds like my house is falling down. Um, Okay, so um, let me go ahead and do some announcements. Hey, Tara, I see you. Um, okay, so here's our announcements. So um, this is our free live art class. We do this every Monday. Uh, my name is Amy, and I'm so glad to have you here. Um, so we are going to keep doing these through the summer. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. We'll just see, um, and I will keep you guys updated. Uh, we do have a Facebook event on our Facebook page, which is um, Plano Arts and Events. So if you want to click uh, like or going on that event, I think it's interested or going are your options. Um, that way you will be uh, kept notified of the upcoming classes. Um, they will all be listed there. Um, okay, so this is every Monday. Um, so this class goes live at noon. If you can't make it here for the noon class, that's okay. The video will be posted on our Facebook page and on our Instagram after class is over. So it will stay up. Um, so you can, you can reference it whenever you want to. Um, but that, that'll be after this class. This, um, I'll keep the recording and I'll get it posted up on Facebook and Instagram. Um, every Tuesday and Wednesday, we have local artist spotlights. Um, if you have not checked those out yet, definitely do. We've got so many talented people um, in our area and we have all different kinds of artists covered. We've got sculptors and painters and potters. Uh, we have culinary artists who share cooking tips. Uh, we have actors, all different kinds of things. So make sure uh, to check those out. Um, every Thursday we have a student virtual art exhibit. I want you guys to submit your work. Um, all you need to do is um, send in one, a photo of one piece of art that you have created if you are a student. You can be in the photo or not. Either way is fine. Uh, so send your image and send your first name and your school 
um, na the name of your school and whatever grade you're in. The reason I ask for your school is because I like to tag the schools in the post for the exhibit so your school knows what you're doing and a lot of times the schools will share it and say congratulations and how proud they are of you. So do send your work students. Um, so that's Thursday. On Friday, we have a live concert um, every Friday. This Friday, it is Harold Huertas, um, and that is every, every Friday at noon, we have live music for you. Um, starting this week, we are doing our downtown sessions on Saturday at noon, um, and that is, a, a, again, more local musicians uh, playing music. That'll be Saturday posted at noon. Uh, this week, we're gonna have Brandon Ryder uh, is our headliner, and Dakota Ritter is the opener. Um, okay, so that's what we have going on for this week. And yeah, let's get started, if you guys are ready. Um, Tara, thank you. Yes, I did make my nails match the art. That was intentional. I'm trying, you guys. You have to look at my hands all the time, so I'm trying to make it interesting for you. Um, okay, let's see. We have so many people joining. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad to see you guys. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, by the way, if you are submitting for the student art exhibition, you do not have to live in Plano. It does not matter. As long as you're a student, we would love your submission. So go ahead and send in your art. I'm going to put this where? I'm going to put it over here um, so you can remember to send me stuff. Okay, I think that's still in the shop. All right, so today we're going to do lilies. And we are going to use paints and markers and what else? colored pencils and crayons. So I'm going to demonstrate to you all how to use all of these to create a lily. Um, my goal is to make it as easy as possible for you all to do this class. So um, I'm hoping that that's enough variety so that you can do the class without having to go to the store. Um, if you would, please, in the comments, if you would let me know what art supplies you're using for this class, that would really help me out. Um, and if you're using something that I didn't list, let me know um, so I can try to cover that as well. Um, okay. So, I think that's all my announcements. Um, I do, if you have questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments. Um, or even just if you have something you want to say, you go ahead and, and let me know. Um, before we get started, I do need to make the most important announcement, and that is about the art class in general. This is for fun. We are doing this for fun, um, and so that you have, uh, maybe you learn a new technique, you learn um, a new way to make something beautiful, um, and um, that's why we're doing it. So, that being said, a lot of people who are in this class are total beginners, and I, that's wonderful. I have designed this class so that everybody from all different skill levels can enjoy it. So you can be a complete beginner, you can be very experienced and just picking up something new. Um, this, is, this is for all of you. So. Your painting is probably not gonna look just like this. What I create today is not gonna look just like this because it's art and it changes all the time. It'll always be different and that's the point and you want it to be different. So my point being, please do not beat yourself up if, um, if yours does not look exactly how you were hoping. I want you to enjoy what you're doing. I just want you to have fun. Um, some of my very best work has come out of me making mistakes. Um, so keep that in mind. <laughs> um, and, I, and I want you just to keep going. Even if you feel like it's not, um, even if you feel like it's not perfect, just keep going, keep learning, just enjoy the process. And, um, and I bet when you're finished with it, you're gonna be very proud of yourself. Um, the other thing that I have noticed is um, when I finish my art, sometimes I'm looking at it and I can look at it so closely that I see the little things that I did that I didn't mean to do or that didn't go exactly how I wanted. Um, if you take a picture of it, if for some reason it just gives you a different perspective. Take a picture of it and then look at your picture and 
it's I don't know why that works, but it does. And it gives you a whole new perspective on what you're doing. Okay, so here we are, we are ready to go. And I want everybody to give me a thumbs up or a little heart. Um, if you agree to be kind to yourself, to have fun. Yes. Yes. Great. Here we go. Okay. I'm seeing hearts. Okay. Um, Lana, I see that you do not have watercolor. Tell me what you are using. Um, you don't have to have watercolor pencils. Jasmine, you can use any kind of colored pencils or markers or whatever. Um, I will tell y'all if, if that's something that you want to to get or order the the watercolor pencils that I'm using, they're not fancy, um, clearly, um, and and they're not expensive or, or anything like that. So if it is something that you wanted to purchase, um, they're really cool, um, and I use like the ones that are designed for kids. They're great. Um, so um, so yeah. So there are different different ways to do this. So. Um, all right, so here is my little dude. I'm gonna put that over there. Okay, um, because we're use, I'm gonna do it in watercolors for one of the examples. I'm gonna use watercolor paper. Um, an idea for you guys is, um, so this is my watercolor paper. One side is bumpy, one side is smooth. If you're using watercolor paper, use the bumpy side. Um, the other nice thing about this is that it's real thick paper. So that has the added bonus that it holds a lot of water, but also, if you cut it to a four by six, it becomes a postcard and you can mail it off to, um, to somebody to make their day better. Um, so that is one of the things that I like to do. Um, so yeah, four by six is, is the dimension if you want to make it a postcard. If you don't want to make it a postcard, you don't have to. Okay, that's for watercolor. I'm gonna show you all the shapes that we're using. So I'm gonna start off drawing. Okay, so the shape of the leaf um, is basically, let me show you, we're gonna draw it. It's like an oval that got pinched at the ends. Okay, so boop. Um, if you wanna think about it as a circle, you totally can. Sometimes I use circles to demonstrate, so you could do like a circle and then triangles. That's your leaf shape. This same shape um, we're gonna use for the petals and we're just gonna alter it slightly. So here's our petals, right? And you'll see they are kind of the same oval. So it's a, it's a rounded line, it gets fatter in the middle and then you pinch the end. So that, you can use that as a petal. For lilies in particular, they tend to be, how exciting, I wrote a little note here to kind of explain it. It's like a fat oval or like a rectangle. So let me show you what I mean. With these, the petal's gonna start like that, right? And then it gets really fat here down at the bottom and then it sort of tapers out and it's a lot longer. You see the difference? This one's just fat and the lines are even. And then for that, for the petal, there's my fat little line and then it kind of goes on. Fat little line. Okay, so that's, that's the difference between the petal and the leaf. Petal, leaf. So the petals are gonna be a little bit longer than the leaves. Um, again, this is nature and nature is always different, so it doesn't have to be exactly like that. You'll notice that these petals kind of have little, little triangles that hang off the side on some of them, sort of like a little floppy hat. And this one almost just looks like a rectangle. And that is because of the way that you are looking at the petal. So if I'm looking at this one straight on and it bends, so it's like this, but it bends. I can't see the pointy part, right? So in this, that case, this one's just gonna look like that. You may choose however you want to do your petals. Either way is fine. Or both. Or try one, and if you don't like the way that it works, you can do something else, that's fine. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do the leaves. This is how we're gonna do the petals. 
Um, and then the only thing left is our stem, which is a line. Okay, so let's get started drawing that out. Um, normally, when I'm gonna do a watercolor, I use a really, I don't know if you can quite see it, I use a really light color to do my outline um, so that it doesn't interfere with the painting part. But because I want you all to be able to see what I'm doing, I'm gonna use a darker color um, for my outline. So you can use just a regular pencil. Um, this is the number two pencil. It has ice cream cones on it because that's what I have. <laughs> um, so you can just use a regular lead pencil, just make light lines. Um, and let's see, let's see, okay, hold on, I'm sorry. It's a question there. All right, so um, let's look at where everything is on the paper. About halfway, right? We're still in stem territory. The middle of the flower, boop, boop, boop. It's probably about a fourth of the way down. So fourth is half of a half, right? So this is the middle of my paper. The middle of that is where the center of the flower is gonna be. So I'm gonna do my first petal. Let's see, we've got six. So think about your center right there. And you guys, there's no better way to do it than to just do it. So here I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this one fat kind of oval. There's one. Do another one. There I go. And I'm just gonna let this one do like the little flopsy thing. It's like a little triangle. Okay, let's do the one where you can't see the end. Okay, get another one here, the top. I'm like, oh, he's kind of wonky, and that's okay because it's nature. They're different. If, as you're doing this, you notice that um, six is not gonna fit, or maybe six isn't enough, you guys just go ahead and add more. It's fine. Just do as many petals as you want. Okay. I'm gonna wait for a second. Okay, and then let's go ahead and we'll put in our stem. You'll notice the stem is not a straight line. It's not straight up and down. Um, sometimes flowers do go straight up and down. I think for, for a picture, it just looks better if it's kind of flowy, wavy, so um, you'll notice for this one, it made sense for the stem to be right in between those two petals. I don't know that's gonna make sense for my stem to be coming out from there. Let's think about it. Eh, let's do it anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like a wavy line all the way down to the bottom. Okay, and now I'm gonna do a leaf, and we're gonna use that same kind of shape, right? Here's one leaf, rounded line, rounded line, like an oval that got pinched. You will notice that this guy does not look even on both sides, right? This line goes like this. This one's a little closer together, and that is because I was thinking that maybe this leaf is not laying flat like that. Maybe it's kind of to the side. So that's gonna affect how your line is. I'm gonna do that for this example, but if you're not comfortable with that, just do one just like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna do rounded line, and then this end to make it look sort of more sideways is just gonna be a little bit straighter. my hair yet. Okay, so if you are doing watercolors, now it's the fun part where we get to use our paint. All right, so you will notice that this looks like I've used several different colors of pink. I did not. I used the same color. I just used more water when I was putting in 
the petals. I will show you how. Okay. Um, here's my brief. I'm trying to make my brush discussion really brief since you guys have to hear it every week. Um, your brush, you want it to have a nice little point like that. And that way you can do lines and details. If your brush looks like this and it's a bit of fuzz, right? And it's kind of fluffy. Um, fluffy is great for cats. It's not great for your brush when you want to do little detail lines. So here's what you're going to do. Here's your water. You're going to swish your brush and get it wet. You are not going to smush your brush down at the bottom of your cup because that's how you ruin the tip of your brush. And, um, and you don't want to do that. You want your brushes to stay nice for as long as possible. So just gently, gently there in the water, not smushing at the bottom. Now my brush is wet. Just in case I get a drip, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Okay, so take your brush with your fingers and pinch it. And now we have a nice little, here I'll put it over the paper so you can see. See, now it's a nice little tip and you can do detailed lines. Hooray, that's all you need to do. When you're not using your brush, do not store it sitting up in your cup like this. That will ruin the tip. So make sure you don't do that, okay? Um, I have this adorable little chopstick holder. If you have a chopstick holder, that's a great thing for painting. You just set it down like that. Um, you can also just use a paper towel or, um, or whatever you've got, scrap piece of paper and just lay it down. Okay. Um, so here we go. Oh, dude. All right, so I have these paints, and this is my pink. I'm gonna drop a little water in here. Oh, I forgot to talk about the drippies. Okay, when you get your paintbrush wet, you get all these drippies, right? And you don't want big drops of water on your paper because that will be very frustrating. Um, so rinse your brush gently, and then just slide it off the side. And then check and make sure you don't have drips on the metal part, okay? All right, see you. I'm just gonna drop some water there on my pink. And that is plenty of water for our purposes on this pink today. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of pink on here. And I'm just gonna go over each of the petals. Um, the technical term is a light wash and that just means I'm going to use an awful lot of water and I don't want to have my paint be as dark as it can be. I just want to use a little bit. And let's do that with each of them. So there we go. You just want to make sure your paintbrush is wet so it's not dripping. Use a tiny bit of paint. Okay, I'm going to let me make a boo-boo so I can show you guys. How about I've got all that dark paint there, right? And I'm like, oh no, this one's gonna be super dark. Don't worry, just get your paintbrush wet, rinse it off, pull it off the side, and just use more water. And there you go. And in fact, you don't even have to dip it back in the paint. You can just keep going with what you've got on your brush. I'm gonna dip it in water not in paint. I'm going to pull some of this paint here. It's going to go over each petal. Ta-da! Okay. We are now going to do exactly the same thing with the leaves. We're going to let this dry. This is our, this is our episode in patience. <laughs> We're going to lay down some color and then we've got to let it dry. We've got to be a little patient. Okay, so here we go. Same thing with the leaves. I'm gonna put down some green. And if you want to go ahead and paint the stem, you can. Let me show you a tip before you start. Okay, remember how we made our paintbrush? Nice and um, we put the tip on it, yes. Words are escaping me right now, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Remember how we fixed our paintbrush that so had a nice tip so we could do detail work? That's what we're gonna do. Um, to get a nice line, you are going to hold your paintbrush straight up and down, 
And you're just going to move quickly. So that's what I'm going to do. Do not touch your pedals. I forgot to say that. I'm sorry. I hope nobody missed it. Do not touch your pedals because the paint will, um, the green paint will then go in there. If, if you accidentally touch your pedal and the green went into the pink, you have options. Embrace it. It's fine. Or you can take a paper towel and just pat it down. Um, in fact, let me show you, I'm going to flip this guy over. Let me show you how to pull up paint if you've made a mistake. Ready? Okay. Big fat pink line. I showed you guys this with a flamingo, but I'm going to show you again. Here's a big fat line that I did not mean to make. Here's what I'm going to do. While it is still wet, I'm going to get water on my brush. I'm going to pull this up and rinse my brush again. I'm just going to boom, soak up that paint with my brush. Let's do it again. Look at that. Now I have a very thin line. And if you wanted to pat it with a paper towel, it would soak up even more of that. I normally have like five paper towels around my desk. I see none, and I'm going to blame those kittens I told you about earlier. <laughs> okay, so that's an option um, if you make a boo-boo. Um, just keep that in mind. I'm going to put this right here so that my desk does not get all wet. Okay, so these guys are drying. And while they are drying, let's see, I don't think they're quite dry. I need them to be a little bit drier. So while they're drying, I'm going to let me switch spots here. Um, okay, so because I make postcards out of these, sometimes I will put puns or jokes on them. So while we are waiting for this first coat to dry, I pulled up some really bad dad joke level puns for you guys. Um, in case you wanted to make a postcard or card or just give this to somebody with a cute little pun. Um, what do you call flowers who are BFFs? The answer is best buds. Um, what did the flower say when her daughter went off to college? I believe in you. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> But I have to do it. I have to tell you these puns. Um, other things, let's see. If you wanted to send this as like a cute little card, you could put, I love you a lily more each day, or to my best bud, or um, hope to see you in a lily bit. Okay, those are my bad jokes for you. You're welcome. If you have any other bad jokes that you think would work, uh, please put them in the comments section. <laughs> um, okay, guys. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, I think this guy is nice and dry. So, now we are going to do... Um, so, that's called our light wash. And, and then we waited. And now we are going to do freckles. Um, these adorable little lines and flower freckles. So with lilies, they have this dark line that goes down the middle. Um, and for the lily that we're painting, it's a hot pink. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get just a little bit of paint right on the tip of the brush. And I'm just going to go straight down the middle. What happens if yours is not a straight line? It's fine. Just do your best. Keep going. So remember, paint brush straight up and down. Don't rest your hand on the paper. See, that one's not perfectly in the center, and it's fine. Okay, now we get to do freckles. I'm going to do little flower freckles. Same thing. Get um, some paint right on the tip of your paintbrush, and I'll show you the example again. Just do freckles on either side of the line. Um, there is no rhyme or reason to it, just do whatever you like. I'm gonna hold my paper down so it doesn't slip, and then I'm just gonna use the very tip of my brush 
and just put little tiny dots. What happens if your dots make a mess? It's fine. You can dab it off with your paper towel and wait a little longer if it seems like it wasn't dry. Or you can just say, hey, maybe that's just how my flower looks. Either way is correct. Boop, boop. And they don't need to be even. Like you don't need to do like one on this side, one on that side. You can do like, hey, here's three here. And like one or two. Just however many you want. I say that and then I went and put a whole bunch of them right in a line like little soldiers. So let me make that different. You guys, I don't see any other terrible jokes in the comments section. So next week I need you to, to bring your A game with bad B jokes, yeah. <laughs> Our top, that's not fair. You guys didn't know I was gonna want jokes. Um, next week we are going to be painting um, what I think of as a Texas Gulf scenes. We're going to do some water and some seagulls and some sky. Um, mostly because I sure do wish I could go on vacation right now, but that is not in the cards for some of us, right? So that's fine. So we're just going to paint some pretty vacation scenes until it is safe for us to go back to going out. So I've got my flower freckles. Do not feel rushed. If you are still working on yours, keep going. Okay, so uh, we're going to do the same thing. Let's do a little line down our leaf to show where it's um, that main kind of veiny part that it has. Right there, this guy is kind of more sideways. So. There we go. And because lilies have freckles on their leaves too, we're just going to do some lily freckles. With the leaves, what I noticed is they have more little dots towards the stem and not quite as many towards the top. Joke. We have a joke in the comments. I have a joke. What did the tree say to the light bulb? I have a bright idea. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome joke. Okay. Um, you guys keep sharing them if you have another one. Um, okay, so now we need to do the pollen part. Um, so with this one, you can use... Um, you can use yellow, you can use orange, um, you can use both yellow and orange. Um, let's see, this one I used yellow because my yellow is super bright. Um, so I think that's just what I'm gonna do. My freckles are not dry yet, my petal freckles, but I do not wanna make you guys sit here forever. And also I am limited as far as how much time I can spend on here that Facebook will let me um, save it and share it and then get it onto Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did the pollen -y part in the middle. I'm getting a little bit of yellow on my brush. And because my freckles are not dry yet, I'm gonna aim for the parts in between. And I'm just gonna do a line. And maybe another line. Coming out from the center. I'm doing tiny ones here because I don't think you can escape and that's fine. Um, because sometimes depending on your perspective, that it's gonna look longer or shorter depending on if you're looking at it 
from the top, it'll look like a dot. If you're looking at it from the side, it looks like a line. So for here, we're gonna do line. Okay, and then they have like these horrible little pollen parts. It's just a little line that hangs off the top like this. So if it was, I'll show you in a second when I'm gonna draw it. Um, pro tip, if you get a lot of these flowers, get a paper towel as soon as that flower opens up and pull these parts off um, it will stain everything and I say this from experience because one time years and years ago I told my husband that this was my favorite flower and now I get them all the time which is fine Chris if you're listening I, I really like them <laughs> but you guys have had a lot of pollen in my house is what I'm saying um, so anywho so that's that now if you are painting at the same speed that I am now is my favorite part you get to put your name on it. I'm gonna put my little signature here, and I want you to make sure that you always put your signature on yours. Um, don't go anywhere. If you are drawing, we are going to do some more drawing of this. Now, if you are done, that's fine too, um, and I will see you guys back here next week when we do uh, the Gulf Coast painting. If you're curious as to what that looks like, if you look at um, Plano Arts and Events on Instagram or Facebook, you can see the whole month worth of art that we are doing. Um, I think that's all I have to say about the, oh, send your work, send me your work, I wanna see it. Um, and yeah, all right, so let's finish, let's draw. Oh, let me show you something too. This is the one I did before. This is the one I did now. You can see they're not the same. So I'm okay with that. I want you to be okay with that. I want you to be okay with whatever you have created. Um, and I want you to be proud of yourself. And I want you to be so proud of yourself that you send me your work so that I can see it. And that also helps me um, to know how you're doing, if there's something I should have explained differently. Um, yeah, so send me your work. Okay, let's draw. Oh, we have another joke. What do you call a Venus that eats flies? A Venus flytrap. Awesome. Love it. I had a Venus flytrap once. Um, I saw them at um, a plant nursery that my mom took me to when I was little, and she let me um, get one. And I almost immediately killed it because I got home, and I really wanted to see it do its Venus flytrap thing. So I fed it ham and it ate the ham, and then I guess I overfed it, and the poor thing. <laughs> I'm not so great with plants. I enjoy painting them. Maybe, maybe I should not be allowed to own them. Um, I have a brand new ficus in the corner, and I'm pulling for him, you guys. I really hope he lives. Hope he makes it. Okay, so here are our shapes, right? So um, let's pretend this is the top of my paper. I want to keep those shapes there so y'all can see them. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to do a little drawing of petals. This one's kind of going to hang to the side. This one's going to be fat petal. A little bit of side. Another fat petal. We'll do rectangle petal. Okay. And then, because we don't have to wait for anything to dry, we can go ahead and do line up the middle, line up the middle, line up the middle. All right, let's do it in crayon. Where am I going to have room? I'm turn the page. Okay, in crayon, petal. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, good. Let me scooch a little bit. You guys, you can keep the bad jokes coming. I want to hear them. Karina, I know you've got bad jokes. Karina and I share, um, we're, we're in the same office, you guys. Well, generally, we would be in the same office. Right now, we are working from home. Okay, so here we are with crayons. Um, do not fill in yet. Let's go ahead and put the pollen in, right? Let's use orange. So that way I don't accidentally draw. Okay, so there's my line and that. 
Little polony shapes. Little mess makers. There they are. Okay. And then I'm going to do my line up the middle. Line up the middle. Line up the middle. With crayons, when you want to make it darker, you just kind of push down a little harder. But don't push down so hard that you destroy your crayon. Uh, they do make crayon sharpeners, obviously, but... Um, so I don't know. So maybe do press down as hard as you want. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> it matters to me because I don't like destroying my stuff. Okay. Um, you know what I'm going to do with this guy is because I want to show that there's a lot of pollen in the middle. I'm going to draw a little circle of orange that these guys are coming out of. See that? Okay, you have options with crayons. Uh, usually you have more than one color at a time, so if you wanted to use a different shade, you can, or you can just color in lightly. Oh, no, Karina, I haven't said that one. Okay, you guys, I'm going to read you Karina's joke. Um, what did the flower say after he told a joke? I was just pawling your leg. <laughs> That's so funny. I love bad jokes, you guys. I really do. Okay. Color, color, color. Color, color, color. Okay, and now we're going to do our dots. You know, with crayons, because you're not, you know, with paint, you can just drop like a tiny bit, right? You can't drop a tiny bit with your crayon. You have to make a mark. So, um, make little tiny dots. And if you don't want to make tiny dots, make big ones. It's okay. Make it peaceful, I guess. Whichever way you decide to do it. Remember that you're doing this for fun. And relaxation, and you're going to take a picture when you're done. So when I say um, that I'm using colored pencils, I'm using my watercolor pencils because that's what I have. Um, you can totally use regular colored pencils. The advantage of those watercolor pencils is that I can then take a, a damp brush and go over them and it makes them look like a watercolor painting. Um, but you don't have to. You can just go ahead and do... Um, lines. It doesn't have to be blended with water. Okay, ready for the stem? It's gonna be a wavy line, like a little snake. Sneak. Okay, I want to make sure you can still see. Boop. I need to move. It's a good thing I have a gigantic desk because man do I take up a lot of space. Okay, with all my supplies. Here we go. Rounded line with a point. Rounded line with a point. This guy, okay, so the, this is gonna be my sideways leaf. So do a rounded line like that. And here we go. Okay, line up the middle, line up the middle, and dots. And shade it in. Something else you might wanna do with your leaves, and you could do this with your paint or with your crayons. You may want to just kind of make one side darker than the other, just for variety. You see, I kind of did that with that one. Um, with crayons, if you want to blend, somebody asked me earlier how to blend with crayons. You just kind of do more lines on top. It's like shading with a pencil. If you were just doing a regular number two pencil, to get shading, you just put light lines and then more light lines over there until you get the kind of depth of color that you want. Okay. Hooray! There's my flower. I'm gonna sign it. Ta-da. Okay. Unless you guys have any more bad jokes to share, <laughs> um, I will see you back here on Monday. We are going to do Gulf Coast. Hang on one second. I think I can show you. Let me find it. That is the sound of glitter. I have a nice little unicorn glitter notebook that I keep these in. This is what we're doing next week. Cool. Okay. Um, all right. So we're done, you guys. Send me your art. Thank you for tuning in. So glad to see you all back here and see some new faces. And I will see you guys next Monday at noon.